The International Space Station is a manned satellite that orbits our planet at an altitude of more than 200 miles. At any given time, it hosts five to six astronauts performing a number of experiments, conducting research, and doing a bunch of other stuff to enhance our knowledge of how things work in space. The space station is suited for testing the spacecraft systems and equipment required for possible future long-duration missions to the Moon and Mars. It is the largest artificial object in space and the largest satellite in Earth's orbit, which is visible to the naked eye from Earth's surface. Needless to say, there are a number of life support systems on the International Space Station to ensure that the crew's stay there is as comfortable as possible in space. The three most important things that humans need to survive are water, food, and oxygen. So today we will talk about how astronauts get oxygen so far above Earth's surface. Electrolysis is the primary method by which oxygen is made on the International Space Station. However, what is the meaning of electrolysis? Electrolysis refers to the chemical decomposition of a liquid or solution containing ions by passing an electric current through it. The electrolysis of water is the name of the process through which water is broken down into its components, that are hydrogen and oxygen. If you think about it, the oxygen that we breathe here on Earth also comes from the splitting of water, only it's not a mechanical process, unlike the electrolysis of water on the International Space Station. Plants, trees, algae, and cyanobacteria all of these organisms decompose water molecules as one of the steps in photosynthesis, which is the process that converts sunlight and water into food. You see, water is composed of two molecules of hydrogen and one molecule of oxygen. When you run a current through water, these two components separate and recombine as gaseous hydrogen and oxygen. The oxygen generation system is a rack designed by NASA to electrolyze water to produce gaseous oxygen. The oxygen produced in this way is then vented to the cabin atmosphere of the International Space Station. Before we continue further, be sure to subscribe to our channel, that way you won't miss any of our weekly videos. Note that the oxygen generation system is a part of the environmental control and life support system aboard the International Space Station. The other vital component of this system is the water recovery system, which works in pairs with the oxygen generation system. So, astronauts aboard the International Space Station get their oxygen from the electrolysis of water, but where does all that water come from? The water is collected within the International Space Station. The water recovery system is a component of the environmental control and life support system that provides clean water by recycling the crew's urine, sweat, other condensate in the cabin, and wastes produced due to extravehicular activity. The water that is collected is obviously put through a series of tests so that it's absolutely pure and ready to be reused to support the daily requirements of the crew, lab animals, and payload activities. This water is then used to conduct electrolysis and create breathable air to sustain life on board. Pressurized oxygen tanks provide a backup to the main method of synthesizing breathable oxygen. Unmanned cargo ships carry these oxygen tanks and deliver them to the space station. These tanks are stored in the space station and used whenever necessary. The crew can also produce oxygen chemically by igniting solid fuel oxygen generation canisters, which are comprised of lithium perchlorate. Each canister can provide a limited supply of oxygen for a crew member.